This isn't just a classroom. It's the scene of a murder, and every spot of splattered blood has a story. Once the body's gone, and this is all I have. I have this, this is all I can use to figure out where the uh, point of origin of this blood stain is and this blood that's so pattering out. Professor Jeffrey Scott is teaching these criminal justice students to process a crime scene, and they'll be the first to tell you it's far different than what you see on shows like CSI. You may not always get the evidence you're looking for. You have to uh, take the pieces of the puzzle and work with it the best you can. You probably haven't seen this on TV. It's called Stringing of the Blood, and it helps investigators determine the degrees and angles to which it came from. It's very important because you will know what type of weapon was used or instrument was used. And with the blood, with the stringing of the blood, that's how we find the point of origin, meaning the point of impact. And that way, basically, we can, you know, basically tell where the person was standing or the suspect. And we can tell whether the, uh, the victim was leaning or lying down or sitting. The students ruled out a hammer or knife because the skull was shattered, even broken in pieces, and the pool of, in this case, pig's blood, was large. We also have a good flow pattern down around the face. Yeah, that stain that you saw was a transfer stain, and that's one of the common stains that we might see in, the, in a situation where we have molten, massive amounts of blood. They also had to consider the position of the suspect. It's not just, you know, the interior of that room or wherever they're at. That blood's going to do what? It's going to flow back to them, too. So they're getting impacted as well. And now, they just have to find him. In Conway, Holly Morgan, News Channel 15.